we've had numerous requests at Seattle Coffee Gear uh, from the folks out there that we compare the Rocket R58 to the Breville Oracle. And the reason that they want a comparison is they're both double boiler machines. They're different and yet alike. And I'm going to go over the features for you so that you can decide which one's going to work best for you. This one, the Oracle has a grinder built into it, so you already have the grinder in there for the price of the machine. It has a PID and a lot of menu options in here for changing the temperature, the volume of your shots, how much Americano uh, the shot versus water. You can make your own Americano ahead of time. I mean, you can, you can change the volume of what the water is going to be in there. It also, you can do auto steam. It'll steam the milk for you, or you can do it manually. You can change the temperature up to 170 degrees for the temperature, and it senses it and shuts it off. And you can also change the, um, the uh, foam that you're going to get, cappuccino latte. Cappuccino is more foam, so if you take this up, you're going to get more foam. And if you take it down, you're going to get less foam. Now you've programmed that in. It's set for 157 and less foam. Or if you push this button, uh, the knob, the lever up, and use your milk frother, you're going to have the control. You're going to do it yourself. You're going to bypass all of this. That's what that's all about. So, drip tray right down in here. Comes with a little tray with your goodies. Comes with a single uh, filter basket in here. It only comes with the double stainless steel filter basket, stainless steel portafilter. And that's because of the uh, grind and the tamp. You can also change the tamp pressure in here in the seconds that it tamps the coffee. It does it all for you. I left this out because I want to show you one other feature. You fill the water tank from the front, but if you want to take the water tank out and, or examine it or wash it, this machine right now is pretty well down to the countertop. If you go like this, it puts it up on a roller bearing. So you can easily roll it around and take the I, AKA water tank swimming pool out to wash it. And it is, it's a big one, it's 84 ounces comes with charcoal water filters and you want to change those every now and again. So it clips right in there and I can see I spilled some water when I took it around. But hey, that's the way it goes. So then you take it back down and you can see the whole machine went down. Now it's secured to the countertop again. Uh, ambient heat cup warmer up here from the boiler. It also comes with a whoop whoop. Whoa, the lid is alive. It comes with a double wall stainless steel go cup, comes with a knock box, stainless steel clad, and a frothing pitcher. They throw all that in the box, and this is a stainless steel finish. Now, the rocket, this is solid stainless steel casing, uh, anti-burn steam arm over here, water arm over here, comes with the it will come with single and double filter basket. It'll also come with two portafilters, one with a double spout and one with a single spout. 84 ounce water tank again, about the same back in here. That's the water tank right there, 84 ounces, same size as the Breville. I think it's a half an ounce difference. This machine can be plumbed in directly to the water line in your house under here. So that's another thing this has that the Breville does not. You cannot plumb in the Breville. It comes with two gauges. One is going to show you the pressure inside the boiler. The other one over here shows you the pressure at the brew head as you're brewing your shot. Um, like I said, stainless steel casing, PID right here that this tethers to the side of the machine and if you get into the menu on this you can change the boiler temperature you can change the uh, service boiler which is your steam side and you can also shut the steam side off if you're may, maybe at your house you don't do a lot of steaming of milk you can shut that right off save a little bit of power 1800 watts on the breville 1400 watts on the r58 uh, i would say the R58 is definitely a more traditional espresso machine that you're gonna see. You're gonna have to have a grinder to go with it, a nice grinder. I would say um, they're different machines because this comes with everything. It's got all this programmability and such, which you may not want that. 
some people want the more traditional where they're doing a little more fussing and getting it perfect. This one here is for people that still want to get a decent shot, but they don't want to do all the work. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, there's something for everybody, I say, you know, and there's no right or wrong. It's whatever's going to work best for you. So I think what we want to do, we're going to get some milk, and I just want to show you the feature of the auto tamping and the auto frothing, and then you can make up your mind what's going to work for you. All right, so we just engaged the portafilter into the, uh, it's almost like a brew head over here. It feels the same. You put it in and swing it to the right. That engages the grinder. Okay now, it's going to tamp it and polishes it. It's all done. So it's ready to go. So with both of these machines, the R58 and the Breville Oracle, you can brew and steam at the same time. So we're, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to do the automatic function. So it's going to take it up to 160 degrees and it's going to give me, eh, I'm going to take the foam down just a little bit with the hopes I can get some art. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I know, you guys are all out there laughing at me. So, just push that down. It'll steam it up to what I want it to do. If I had taken it up, it would do it manually. By the way, there's a, I didn't mention it, but there's an advanced menu in here. We made a, a video of that, so check that video out if you want to get into any of the, the advanced settings. We did one with Phil McKnight from uh, Revel. Boy, he knows his stuff. We were happy to have him here. 100 degrees. Let's get some brewing going. Ah, nice looking shot. Times it. This has a clock built into it which means that you can have it come on in the morning. You can have a come on time and a shut off time. So when you get up, it's ready to go. One sixty, just like I asked it for. Now the other thing, and I didn't mention this yet. You want to wipe this off right away you know so it doesn't get on there real hard and now watch this auto clean takes care of everything for you if that's the way you you know prefer to do it in the morning or evening or afternoon or whatever you're doing nice foam as you can see no oh, come on little art no art that's nothing it looks like muddy water, <laughs> the puddle in the front yard. <laughs> so you have a little more control and the steaming power on this is going to be much, much more forceful. You'll get it done in a quarter of the time. It'll be a lot faster because this is just a, it's more of a uh, light duty commercial type of a machine. Um, hot water over here comes out right here on this machine. So. I would say, uh, you know, they are just, they fit different profiles of person, uh, people, persons, peoples. Um, it just depends on what works for you. Oh, and the R58 also comes with a nice metal tamper. So give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. Uh, if there's different features that work better for you or for worse for you, put some comments down below. We'd love to hear back from you. And also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come on, guys. You love watching our videos. You know it. Sign up. You'll get a notification when one comes out. We're putting out one just about every day. So check us out on the webpage, seattlecoffeegear.com or Seattle Coffee Gear on YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.